Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to Gigs and Gamers Play, and what a bizarre thing for me to wake up to. The Olympics has finally, officially, gone down the esports route. But if you were looking forward to seeing countries compete against each other in some of the most competitive video games, such as Counter-Strike Global Offensive, Valorant, as stupid as I think that it is, uh, League of Legends, Dota 2, maybe even something a bit more mainstream, like a Halo or a Call of Duty or something like that. Even Fortnite, if you were expecting to see that, or Apex, no, 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 that's not what you're going to get. Instead, you're going to get archery, baseball, chess, cycling, dance, motorsport, sailing, tennis, and taekwondo. This sounds like Wii Sports, but for the Olympics to me. And this is so wild, man, that I can't believe this is actually a real thing. They've even got Gran Turismo ads promoting this. So let's jump in and have a look as we enter the arena. So the home and best place to follow and access everything Olympic esports. Now, keep in mind, this is on the official Olympics website. Take part and follow and watch the Olympic esports series of 2023, a global virtual and simulated sports competition and first ever Olympic esports week from the 22nd through to the 25th of June, streamed in Singapore and live right over here. So I wonder if they have like a a Twitch channel as well, an Olympics Twitch channel. So find stories of the best players from around the world and get access to performance and well-being tips from professionals to support you in leveling up your game. You can easily sign up and stay updated on it all because yeah, they're actually going through and saying that there is like some open brackets to some of these things. They're promoting this pretty hard. They put out this ad. Look, they're being ratioed on a lot of these posts as well. And some of the comments are wild. You know, there was one over here where the, the whole thing was just filled with like, Valorant and League of Legends from the official accounts just spamming them with their characters. It's crazy to see. Look, I don't think esports and the Olympics should combine in any capacity. They stood, they should stay separate. And when this, this is the type of stuff that we're getting. Oh gosh, this, this is a terrible, terrible mistake from the Olympics, in my opinion. But you tell me how you feel about this in the comments section down below. Be sure to subscribe to Geeks and Gamers Play and check out geeksandgamers.com. And I'll see you all in the next video.